this is Warren from Melbourne, and I have Sandeep right now. We know who's uh, one of the directors of uh, Agility Academy and my colleague. We like to invite you all for uh, the RTE presentation right now. We're going to be looking at, at a fair bit of content, you know, like what is the RTE role, who is the RTE, you know, suitable for, and uh, what are next steps. So uh, buckle up, and uh, from wherever you are, by all means, say hi. Uh, put a comment to us, and uh, one of us will be uh, looking at it and uh, responding. Yeah, you all. So it's, it's going to be a highly interactive session, like any other Agility Academy leadership live session. Uh, so feel free to introduce yourself, mention your location, and if you have or any question related to RTE role and how to secure that job and play it successfully, feel free to ask that anytime. So we are we are live on YouTube, Facebook, as well as LinkedIn. So like this video, subscribe to our channel to stay updated. Let's begin. Thank you. Let's begin. So uh, like I said, you know, my name is Warren and I am an RTE by profession. I, I do work for an organization as an RTE. And I was just talking to Sandeep a few minutes ago about next week being PI planning. So there's a, a fair bit that we uh, like to cover. We like to bring our experience to you. Uh, which might interest uh, your curiosity a little bit. But uh, in the agenda, we are mostly going to look at, you know, what is this role called RTE? Why is it different from your traditional uh, layers of uh, different different roles that are there? The skills and the traits of an RTE. Uh, what does it take to be an RTE? That's pretty much, you know, what we're going to mostly look at. This key focus areas. Uh, why is it different to the traditional uh, uh, project management role? Uh, and what are the responsibilities that an RTE would generally do? What are some of the struggles? And, and, and this is something going to be uh, pretty big because I go through that almost every single day in my life and I like to share some of my uh, key learnings with you all. Uh, and and uh, more or less, who is this role mainly for? Uh, is it for everyone? Or, or are there some things that you must have you know, uh, as part of a, a groundwork you know, in order for you to become an RTE? The practical tips on uh, how to get a job as an RTE. Uh, we'll look at a, a few things. Uh, there are a, a few exciting slides at the end that we would like to talk a little bit in detail uh, to anyone who wants to uh, get into this role. And also how we can help you. That's probably the most important thing. We are here to uh, not just share our insight and and and, and show how this uh, program will probably benefit you, but even more so we are here to uh, walk you through you know, your journey uh, in transitioning uh, into the safe RTE role and how we can actually be there as a guiding coalition to support you. And obviously, we will finish it all off by talking about the next steps in case you are interested, if you want to find out more information about it, or if you want to sign up, what are the next steps? Sandeep, do you have anything to add? Yeah, I just, while, while you're expecting everything, I just come, this came to my mind. Uh, recently, I was watching one of the sports movie, and then there was a trainer, mentor, coach who was preparing that person to get selected in a national team. But that journey never stopped there. It was more providing ongoing support, coaching, mentoring, so that that person will keep performing in that national team. So treat, if you are scrum master, project manager, product owner, or agile leader, and want to transition into the senior, uh, you know, chief scrum master RD role, treat this approach as something which will give you confidence to secure that role, play that role as an RTE, get that job, so getting selected in that national team. And then once you land in a job, giving that confidence, mentoring, ongoing support, guidance, because that's the crucial thing. Getting job is, I will say, you know, 50% of battle is won when you get a job. And the rest of the 50% battle goes on till the time you are in the job. So in today's world, when we have seen the global recession and a lot of jobs are getting cut off, it's important that you keep performing, keep adding value. And that's where the Agility Academy will come in picture, which will help you to provide that ongoing confidence, support, as well as guidance. Uh, by the way, if you are joining on LinkedIn, Facebook, or YouTube, please mention your name and location. I can see that we have a few people joining from India, uh, from UK. Uh, and uh, looks like we have got someone, Franca, Scrum Master. And uh, Franca has done already RTE training. So there's something which is there you are going to learn in today's session about beyond two-day training, three-day training, RD training, what else is required in order to successfully play that role, secure that job. And that is what is going to be covered in the next few minutes. So stay tuned, like this video, write to your comment, subscribe to our channel so that you will get notified.
All right, over to you, Warren. Thank you, thank you. So uh, what I first like to start off by saying is this is not your traditional project manager role. Uh, this is a coaching role. This is a facilitating role. You are there to basically be a guide to the people that you are uh, supporting uh, and, and leading. Uh, known by different name, names, obviously, RTE is the uh, traditional safe name uh, that is used. But otherwise, you know, in different organizations, you are also called the chief scrum master. You are called the senior scrum master. You will see some roles that are out there that, that, that actually advertise called senior scrum master or even the art coach, uh, which is pretty interesting because uh, that is exactly what you are going to be doing. You are going to coach your agile release train. You are responsible for delivery, end-to-end -end delivery. You are, you are, you know, but you are there mainly to ensure that you coach your teams, so that they can deliver. You're ma making sure that they are meeting their objectives and commitments that they have, you know, committed themselves to for the quarter or quarters. Okay. Uh, generally, uh, an RTE coordinates about one to two arts. Anything more than that would be considered too much of work. Although I have seen some parties, you know, who, who do a little bit more than that, but the ideal, you know, amount of you know arts that are recommended is about two and uh, anywhere between 125 to 250 members. Anything more than that, you know, it's a little bit theoretical, but you know, you'll be you'll be uh, increasing your amount of networking uh, and connectivities, you know, with with different people to the extent that it'll be uh, more uh, unmanageable. Having said that, you know, in your traditional project management role, you don't manage that many people. So it is a big role. You are guiding your, your teams to deliver. And what are you guiding them for? So you're guiding them with the problem identification and decision making. You're not making decisions for them. You are there to coach them enough so that they can come up with their own solutions. You are, you are the decentralizing person who is going to, you know, allow your teams to make those those decentralized decisions. You are not there to, you know, even tell them what to do. The only thing that generally happens beyond that is, you know, when there is an escalation point, and it is beyond your team. That is when you step in, you take it, and you remove that bottleneck. You remove that 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 escalation for them. You you are that mitigation person. You create an environment of mutual influence. There's no other better way that we, uh, Sandeep or I can put this here. We are all in this together. Your RTE, it, it, the best way I can say it is like, th think of a train, okay? Uh, if you see the tra traditional diesel engine, engine trains, uh, usually there are two engines, one in the front and one in uh, at the rear, right? But everything else in, is in between. Think of those uh, cars that are in between as your teams. And you are leading them, okay? Y your teams are as good as you are, and you are as good as your teams are. So there's a mutual coalition that happens, you know, between everyone. You encourage the personal development of teams. One of the things about RT is like relentless improvement. Your teams can only get good if they improve themselves, if they uh, dedicate some time uh, to, to be in the best person you know uh, that they can be so that is why you are the person who is you know uh, providing that insight to them uh, to, to to use you know best intra industry practices for that you need to be learning all the time and you need to be that that figure that that demonstrate that continuous learning is something that has to happen every time all the time we're in a different world today we are not in like you know how we were 40 years ago where you study once and you are covered for the rest of the 20 years those days are gone Today, there's a continuous learning, and everybody in the organization must do that. Persuasion yeah. over authority. Yes, Sandeep, you want to say something? Yeah, I, I again, I, I like to draw parallels. Yeah. So one parallel which I can draw is that if you are, you know, coming from the big country where there are different states, and then, you know, there's a federal government. So there's a president or prime minister who is looking after an entire country, right? But that person is not governing. That person is not doing day-to-day -day activities, getting involved into how different states are functioning. Probably you got a premier or chief minister who is looking after that. So yep. treat that scrum masters are like a chief minister or premier who has got that servant leadership mindset, who is helping that state's well-being, so that team's well-being. Whereas RTE, chief scrum master, RTE is like a premier or president who need to work hand-in-hand -hand with scrum masters, hand-in-hand yep. -hand with chief chief ministers in yeah. order to get a better outcome. And there yeah. it, it's more about influence than authority. And in my experience, when I whenever I have played role of RTE or 
whenever I have done coaching and I need to step in as an RTE because there wasn't anyone available, I had zero reportees. I had no one who was actually, whose performance appraisal was done by me. I wasn't line manager. But at the mm -hmm. same time, I had this responsibility to get a better outcome by taking together those 50 to 125 team members, 5 to 12 teams in a single ecosystem by focusing on the same target, ensuring that everyone understands, same language is used, all uh, um, knowledge across every team is utilized, and then we are focusing on achieving that goal. So working as a single unit, and there's a maths, okay? So there, it's not a rocket science, there's a maths. N into N minus one divided by two, where N is number of people. So if you have got 100 people, then 100 multiplied by 99 divided by two, so 50 multiplied by 99, these are the communication channels which are established. And it's given that in, a, in any agile team, you should not have more than nine to 12 teams. Because if you look at any sport team, whether you look at a soccer, cricket, bearing some exception, some sports, you will not have more than a dozen team members. And the reason for that is once you go beyond that number, it becomes quite difficult to manage. Same concept applied to release train, where as an RTE, you are supporting five to 12 teams. So you are supporting or working with five to 12 scrum masters so that's your team team of leadership um yeah so i just wanted to add that by the way i can see now people have started joining from different parts of the world uh say hi mention your location and feel free to ask any question i know few of you might be new in this role few of you might be aspiring to transition into this role uh you can you can start from anywhere and we are going to cover that but if you have got any practical challenge any questions related to this topic feel free to ask that uh, subscribe to our channel, like this video, so that you'll get notified to our upcoming events as well. So what are the skills and traits of a good RTE? RTE stands for Release Train Engineer, which is nothing but art coach or chief scrum master by the definition of SAFE, Scale Agile Framework. However, in the industry, there are some places wherein uh, I know big telco where they repurpose or they rename uh, this particular role as a group scrum master or end-to-end -end scrum master. Or sometimes people might call it as a agile delivery manager. But at the heart of this is a release train, agile team of teams, five to 12 teams focusing on same same outcome. So what skills are required? Just, just think like this. If today you are capable to lead team of 10, and all of a sudden you have been asked to lead your know, team of 100 people, then you need to buckle up your game. And there's no rocket science. You will not have more than you know 24 hours in your, uh, in your day. And uh, even if you are CEO of company, expectation is not that you are going to do each and everything which that company is doing. Similarly, here, the secret lies in empowering others. Secret lies in building that trust. Secret lies in creating a second line of leadership on whom you can rely. So first important skills which you require is emotional intelligence. You need to understand what are the different triggers, how people behave, what kind of things motivates them. Second thing, you should be a lifelong learner because quite often you'll be out of your depth. So you need to challenge yourself. You need to find different ways through which you can support. Third thing is you need to be a good facilitator. So when you talk about this quarterly planning session, which is one of the requirement or responsibility of uh, RTE, you should have courage to stand in front of 125 people, pick up a mic and tell, and then also do timekeeping, ensure that everyone is doing things in that given time time box to deliver that outcome, of which is nothing but what we are going to achieve into uh, you know one quarter. So facilitation skills, coaching, consulting skills, uh, I'll say agile expertise, uh, ability to mentor leaders, and then most importantly, the attitude to serve and become a lifelong learner. So these are the few things uh, which are required. And you'll see that as you progress further in your career, a lot of skills are interchangeable. So if you are a scrum master, you might be doing this, but at a smaller scale, probably while serving one team, one product owner, one senior stakeholder. As an RTE, you are talking about dozen of scrum master, dozen of product owners, and then uh, half a dozen of at least senior stakeholders. The focus area, uh, when we talk about focus area of RTE, it's again, your success depends on success of your teams and you can't be at all places. So 
it's important that you guide everyone by showing empathy, by actively listening, helping team to have some time and space where they can explore, they can express themselves. So as RT course, quite often you don't want to go there with ready-made answers. You know, you need to open the forum and help your scrum masters, product owners, leaders to share what they think is the best in the interest of the entire, entire program or group. So bringing that best of the teams, acting as a leader rather than manager, as, as Warren has mentioned earlier, one of the misconceptions in the industry and in few, few uh, uh, companies is that, oh, you are a project manager, you are a senior project manager, we are starting agile transformation, so your title will be changed to RT overnight. No, that doesn't work. Yeah. So there is a value in senior project manager in traditional project management world or hybrid world, but when you talk about SAFE, there is no project manager role. Let me make it clear. If you refer SAFE framework, scale agile framework, there is no project manager role. There is a scrum master product owner who leads at the team level, and then there's a product management, which can be more than two or three uh, senior product managers, and then RTE, Chief Scrum Master. So these are the roles which, which exist. Uh, another aspect or another focus area is driving, delivering outcome. The, at the heart of SAFE is program execution. You can plan several things, but if you are not delivering, no one is going to believe in you. So how you can execute things till the end how you can optimize flow of value, how you can deliver things based on what you have promised with 80 to 90% of predictability. If I, your teams have said that they are going to deliver this particular new uh, functionality, capability, product, solution to the customer at the end of quarter, are you able to do that? What are you doing to remove those blockers? So all those things, area, things are key focus areas of RDE. So I just like to quickly draw a quick analogy. Uh, if you take any successful uh, 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 sports team out there, it could be soccer, it could be football, it could be anything, even tennis. Even Roger Federer, Federer had a had a coach, right? Your coach is the reason why you know your, your your team will perform, and that is where the RTE basically shines. So when we go into responsibilities of an RTE, and I'm going to talk a little bit on, you know, based on my uh, my own experience as an RT and Sandeep himself has also played this role. Okay, we are basically re responsible to man manage and optimize the value that is passing through the art. Like Sandeep said earlier, you know, if you are if you are talking the talk but you are not actually delivering value, then no one's going to believe you. Our responsibility is to make sure we deliver value, and we are enabling our teams to deliver that value. Okay, uh, fostering collaboration between teams. Uh, most of you know, when it comes to safe or even you know generally you know any agile uh, uh, project management practice you are going to be dealing with quite a lot of you know um, uh, cross collaborating teams that which are from every part of your organization that collaboration generally you know uh, in organizations exists in, in a very siloed way you are there to basically you know break through those boundaries you know for your team so that all teams can work together all teams can collaborate together and in, in the, put it in a, in the in the nicest way all teams can talk that's probably the best way if teams can talk to each other, they can get a lot of things done. RTE basically makes that happens. Facilitating PI. I was just telling Sandeep, next Thursday and Friday, not this week, next Thursday and Friday, you know, we are running PI in, in, in my own organization. And the preparation took us three months. You're responsible as an RTE for the preparation, for the planning, for the actual two days, and the execution of your PI. Okay. Uh, at the, uh, the, the ultimate thing is that is your success factor. We, we went into two days of planning. We, we did some work, you know, during a quarter. Here's the outcome. Your teams delivered that, but that is the success factor. Uh, tracking and communicating the key uh, metrics. This is something that generally happens, you know, throughout your, your quarter, throughout your, your objectives uh, delivery. And the RTE is responsible to make sure that the EPICS, this is just an example. Are, you, are your EPICS actually going to meet your timelines? Are we uh, lagging behind? Do we have too many defects coming out of anything uh, 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 that went into production? What about you know uh, team metrics? RTE is responsible to measure what matters, not just measure for the sake of measuring. Okay, uh, and also escalating and tracking our uh, impediments. At the start, I said, if the teams are unable to basically uh, uh, resolve their own issues. That's where US and RTE will come in, and US and RTE will support to 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 remove that as uh, uh, that risk uh, or mitigate that impediment. That is an RTE's job. Relentless improvement. Sandeep and I were just talking at the start of this course before we you know uh, logged on about how we are reading books 
apart from our usual you know uh, learnings there is a constant sense of danger that every rt must hold to himself or herself i need to get better at my job every yeah. coach is like that so you need to always invest some time in the day some time in the week to improve yourself to be better if you can't do that you can't inculcate your teams to do that your teams are going to follow you like as if they are following somebody that just fell off the sky your teams are going to look to you as somebody that they can be led by so you need to walk the talk yeah and and a great example of this is how kids learn right so if you happen to have you know children or you have got the uh, children in your extended family children don't follow or kids don't follow what you say they follow what you do same principle applies to adults you know as a adult we take visual clues we see that oh this person is always there he this person talks one thing and does something else so that actually influences so as a rt it's your responsibility to walk the talk to show what ideal lean agile leader is supposed to do mm -hmm. uh, uh by the way if you have joined recently feel free to mention your name and location uh it's it's really encouraging to see that we have got few people joining from singapore belgium india australia of course uh so ask any questions related to this role we are going to explore now what need to what things need are required to successfully play this rt role beyond just understanding what this role stands for so there are two challenges which are faced by rt aspirants anyone who want to move into this role first one is not getting enough experience in how to play this role you know theory is one thing practical is another thing so you might read a lot of books about how to swim but unless you get inside water and have someone who is helping you to swim you will not be able to swim doesn't matter how many video recordings you have watched about how to swim how someone has got gold medal in swimming so having that lack of practical experience mm -hmm. how to those things in the real workplace uh, situation and second thing oh, on theory on guidance ongoing support having that confidence that okay if i fail there is someone who is going to help me understand what need to be done or there is someone who can act as a mirror sounding board and help me to evolve as a leader so these two things are mainly faced by the aspirant and i can share my story when i got opportunity to transition uh, from a senior scrum master iteration manager role Uh, or agile delivery manager role into rd uh, my biggest fear was what will happen if i fail whom i will reach out if i need to ask any questions so and other thing was that okay how do i do it so there are many things which you learn by doing but at the same time you need to have that confidence that someone else is there behind you who will shadow you who will guide you and with this these things these challenges in mind what agility academy has done based on several years of industry experience we have come up with this a uh, bespoke uh, rt mentorship program which is run for 6 weeks so in this program what we do we go beyond theory here we give you an experience as an rt on day to day basis and i'm going to share that shortly so you'll be part of a release train each participant will act as a you know team team lead and you will rotate that rt hat while going through this whole exercise you'll get real workplace scenario saying that okay teams are not coming together scrum ops scrum is not giving visibility to your senior stakeholders or your product management or product owner group is not prioritizing epics or features or they are struggling to slice that work so it will give you practical workshop style real workplace based experience in this six weeks program which will give you confidence to play a role of rt and it's not just a classroom training there will be work assignment which you need to focus on so if you are committed you will get a lot of opportunity to learn and all this will be done using industry recognized tool like atlassian jira so jira is one of those agile work management tool used by i think more than 60 to 70% companies across the world so we will be tracking everything in jira we will be using tool like miro mural which is a virtual whiteboard tool nowadays when you work in a remote environment you don't get luxury to have your multi team multi sprint planning which is nothing but a pi planning or quarterly planning at a one place sometimes you need to run those things in a distributed environment remotely so you will be using different artifacts from different uh, uh, tools and gain experience about how to drive excellence through uh, rt uh, through release train by focusing on metrics and reports which are quite crucial towards success now 
before we do deep dive and look at those six weeks and how those weeks have been created and what kind of uh, experience you are going to have, I just want to make it clear that this is not for someone who is new to Agile. Yeah. So we have got Scrum Master Mentorship Program, four-week mentorship program. The target audience for that is different. There, if you are new to Agile or you want to transition into Scrum Master uh, role, then that is the best fit. But if you are already Scrum Master, if you are already Agile team coach or consultant, or perhaps you are working as a product owner, product manager, got a couple of years of in, uh, experience, or it might be case that you are not playing this Agile leadership role like Scrum Master, product owner, but you are a project manager, program manager with really good industry experience, and you have seen how Agile works and you want to transition and take that leave. And quite often we have seen people having 15 to 20 years of industry experience coming from project management, delivery management side, transitioning into this role successfully. And in fact, I have, before embarking on this journey, I have played project management roles. So this is for you if you fall in one of those uh, uh, you know, personas. And in addition to that, you have got attitude to learn. You have got commitment, and this is what's your top priority. It will not work if you are not able to spend at least one hour each day or six weeks. It will not work if you think that, oh, uh, this is just a side gig. I, I'm not sure whether this is the right fit for me. No, you need to have that self-confidence, self-conviction before you can come and then you know uh, pursue this role. So how does it work? Six weeks, six sprints. So you will be going through this experience as if you are part of an agile release train. In Agile release train, you follow PI cadence. PI is program increment, which is quarterly time box, wherein you have got four to five sprints. Similarly, in this case, every sprint, there will be a sprint goal. You will be understanding in first sprint, what is RTE role. Even if you have done RTE certification, you will go through a few essential things so that you are on the same page. If you haven't done RTE certifications, you will get all confidence throughout this program to play that RTE role. So essential skills, traits for RTE, what should be your focus area? People, process, and product. You can't, if you don't have right kind of people, if you don't have right kind of skill set, you might not succeed as an RTE. So identifying ways through which you can coach, mentors, scrum masters, product owners. So people, capability, uplift, process, how you can connect dots, what kind of things needs to be done. If you want to launch a release train, probably you need to ensure that what kind of skill sets, what kind of teams are required, how they, those should be structured, what should be their cadence, how they should be synchronized, what processes should be followed, and then product. So that part will look into the product management, product ownership, how to slice work into small chunks to feed the release train and then deliver value uh, um, uh, iteratively. After this, so first sprint is uh, theory, understanding the core concept, being on the same page. Second phase is for four sprints, four weeks. In this, you will get an experience to facilitate Agile release train events, such as Scrum of Scrum, such as PI planning event. So there will be real workplace scenario using which you will experience participating in a PI planning event and how to run different breakout sessions, how to lead different conversations, how to do root cause analysis, problem solving workshops, how to facilitate conversation when there is a big audience involved. And what needs to be done to come up with the effective reporting and governance. Because at the end of the day, if you are not able to deliver what your release train has committed, no one is going to trust in what you are going to plan. So you need to ensure that people are focused, team focused to deliver value, and there's, there are no blockers, impediments, which are stopping from that. And the last print, this is where we will do assessment of your capability as an RTE. So there will be mock interviews, will help you to Focus on areas where you might be currently lacking. There might be some blind spots. So if you are going to apply for a new RTE role or you want to transition into RTE role within your organizations or outside, uh, we'll help you prepare, revamp your profile, uh, and then conduct job interviews, mock interviews, so that you will actually be ready to face the real interview. And throughout this six-week program, you will have a lot of case studies under your belt. There will be a lot of techniques which will ask you to focus on, work on, in your in your workplace so that you will have some experience and then beyond that we will have a rt agility academy rt uh, community of practice so you'll be part of that 
and through that support network you can always come back even after landing rd job to brainstorm certain ideas you'll be always invited to lean coffee brown bag sessions which are conducted by agility academy mentors and experts so that's that's how this uh, six week program look like it's for those who want to, to transition into rd role and successfully play that role even after securing a job uh if you are watching this video uh, as a live stream on youtube facebook or linkedin please uh, mention your name and location like this video um, recording of this will be available on youtube uh, so we are talking about how agility academy can help you to transition into rd role and get that job and play that job successfully so if this is your top priority you are 100% committed and this is something which is you know your dream job or something which you always aspire to be uh, then if you are interested to learn how we can help you gain this 100% confidence within 6 weeks to get a scrum master a chief scrum master or rt job by learning how to apply safe scale agile skills in a real workplace scenario through unique hands on experience program then reach out to us on whatsapp or telegram plus 6145180164 or if you are based in us you can call us uh, on our us phone number uh, alternatively you can also drop us an email uh, what we are going to do we there will be initial screening so not everyone who apply for this program will be eligible to participate so we are going to understand whether this is right fit for you or are you are you is this going to give you desired outcomes towards the end of six six weeks so there will be qualification and post that uh, you will be given opportunity to be part of this mentorship program if you think this is right fit for you here is a qr code you can book agile mentoring session with us 15 to 30 minute one of agility academy expert will have a, a consulting session wherein we will understand what is your professional background what are your skills skill skill sets how far you are from achieving this rt role if we think that rt is the right fit for you and you are you know you just need some guidance uh, you will be given opportunity to be part of this 6 weeks program if we think that you are it's still early we might recommend you to work on something else like you know explore more about safe explore more about scrum act as a agile team coach before taking this senior role uh, so there are limited spots available you can scan this qr code and after scanning this QR code, it will take you to the uh, Calendly link where you can book meeting with Agility Academy expert. We'll be more than happy to take you through this journey. And uh, we are here, we are committed, we are passionate about supporting individuals and organizations to embark on Agile journey. So uh, reach out to us. If you are watching this video after it is live stream, and I, I, we, we usually have a lot of people who watch it um, later time, in, um, later time uh, feel free to still mention your name, location, ask any question, and do book to this consulting session. The next batch is starting in mid-August. So it will start in the middle of August and it will go till end of September. And after that, the uh, last batch of this year will start in middle of October and it will go till start of the December. So there are two opportunities where you can come and be part of our six week uh, uh, release train engineer mentorship program to gain confidence skills as well as uh, support required to play this role successfully uh, by the way every tuesday same time we do live stream on youtube facebook on different agile leadership topics so far we have covered uh, discipline agile coach how to get a scrum master job without any experience safe product owner product main portfolio management uh, in upcoming weeks we are going to explore more about enterprise agility we are going to explore more about what it required to play agile delivery management role uh, and then top tips to become a successful agile coach as well as scrum master so subscribe to our channel uh, youtube channel like our video subscribe to our linkedin channel and stay tuned uh, warren you have got anything to add before we call it a day just one last thing we are we are species we are rts and the only thing we care is to coach you. That's all we yes. care about. Absolutely. Spot on. Thank you, everyone. Have a good one. And see you soon. Cheers. Good night.